So today I have the, what month are we in? July, July, yeah, there we go. <laughs> from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. If you are new around here, hi, I am Nicole. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for clicking on this video. Do consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy nail polish related content. I upload new videos every single week featuring both mainstream indie as well as boutique nail polish brands. If you are in fact a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you doing my friend? I hope everyone's having a fantastic week. So today's video is for the newest release from Heather's Hughes. So today I have the, what month are we in? July, July, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I have the July duo to share with you all today. If you are new around here, Heather's Hughes is a US-based indie brand. Their polishes are five-free, cruelty-free, as well as being vegan-friendly, and they are also in 15 ml bottles. Each month, Heather asks members of her Facebook fan group to submit photos following a theme for July. The theme was Wild Card. You do not need to be a member of the Facebook group to purchase these polishes. However, if you would like to submit photos as well as vote on photos, you do need to be a member of the Facebook group. These polishes will only be available for the month of July. I'm hoping to get this video up on Friday, July 1st. So if this video does go up on that date, the June Duo is still available if you would like to snag both months together. I anticipate that the June Duo will only be available until Monday. So as per usual, I will have links to where you can purchase these polishes as well as all the sale information down in the description box. I will also have links to the Heather's Hughes social media pages, my social media pages, as well as a link to my blog post where I host all of my swatch photos. Also, just a heads up, I recently changed my setup where I, like I'm pointing to because I, I do my setup, my swatches over there, but I recently changed my setup. So like I, I don't know. Let me know what you all think. I feel like the lighting is better. I did change my lighting around so that there's less of a shadow when I'm doing the live swatch. And like the camera angle is also like slightly different. I don't know if anyone's going to notice that, but it's different. Um, let me know what you all think. Cause I feel like I'm, I know I'm going to tweak it, but I do know that this setup is going to be for like the next couple of videos. So if you don't like it, sorry, <laughs> let's get into this video. First up, we have Cosmic Cooldown. The brand describes this one as a creamy, light purple curly base filled with a mix of glitters in various shades of violet, turquoise, and pink, as well as pink and turquoise metallic flakes. It also has a sprinkle of baby pink star glitters. It's priced at $12.50. This polish had a fantastic formula. The base uh, does start off fairly sheer, but it does build up really nicely. All of the glitters and flaky spread up very evenly and easily in this one. They will give off a bit of texture. I use the glitter smoothing top coat. I think if you're not super picky on texture, it'll be passable with just one coat of top coat, but I prefer like super smooth, especially for photos. So I use two coats, including the glitter smoothing top coat. I was very surprised at the amount of stars I got out on the nail during when I was doing my full hand swatch. I did not need to hold the bottle upside down. I did not do any fishing. I did run it through my nail polish shaker a few minutes before applying, but like I was very surprised because in the bottle I did not see that many stars. So yeah, I was very, very excited. For my live swatch, this had been sitting on my uh, table for several hours, so I didn't really give it a good shake before I used it. So I didn't get very many stars out during the live swatch, but out when I was doing like my actual swatch photos, a ton of stars were out on the nail. I do think this one's likely going to be a solid three coater just to get like the, the base to build up really nicely. Removal will be on the more difficult side if you try to scrub this one off. I use the peel off base coat. You can also soak this one off fairly easy. And I do want to say this is going to be one of those purple polishes that will look uh, drastically different depending on your light source. I swear this one had like three different shades of purple in it depending on what room of my house I was in or if I was outside in natural light. Next up we have Down by the Sea. This one is described as being an ocean jelly base with a touch of blue slash green shimmer as well as a mix of blue slash teal iridescent flakies as well as lime blue gold and teal blue violet multi-chrome flakies. 
It is priced at $12.50. Down by the Ocean had a really great formula. This one was very sheer. You're going to definitely want to build this one up for the most opacity. You still will have some visible nail line in three coats. I did attempt to show this one as a topper, but my cat jumped on me and then uh, there was a smudge and I was just kind of over it, so I did not try again to show it as a topper, but this one will work really well as a topper. The flakies all spread very evenly and easily. There are some big honkers in there, so like you can see on my middle nail, I've got a big old flaky. On my ring finger, I got a big old flaky, so I was very excited to see those additions in there. And this polish looks fantastic with a matte top coat. None of those flakies will dry down with any texture and they will not be like difficult to remove. I still would not suggest scrubbing it off just because I personally don't believe in scrubbing off nail polish, but you won't be in for like a terrible time if you choose to do that to yourself. I swatched this one in three coats with both glossy and matte top coat. I did not have any issues with staining. So that is everything. So it is a no brainer. Cosmic Cooldown is definitely going to be my top pick this month. Overall, I did really enjoy this month's duo, but I pretty much always love the Heather's Hughes monthly duos. This is my favorite indie brand and I just love the releases in general. I personally have been really loving that for the past few months Heather has been releasing like glitter polishes that have like chunkier glitters in them. I love chunky glitter polishes so I'm very excited that Heather has been doing that for her Crellies lately. I probably mentioned this during the live swatch but I really feel like Down by the Sea is like the indie version of the China Glaze wrapped around your sea from the Jurassic Park collection. I feel like this is like a better version of that polish. I haven't looked at them side by side, but like in my brain, I'm feeling like they're pretty similar. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> and like the Heather's Hughes version is like a less chunky version and like more user friendly in, in my personal opinion. But yeah, both of the polishes were fantastic. I would love to know what you all thought of this release. Are you planning on picking it up? Do you, do you want to pick it up? I, I don't know. <laughs> Once again, these polishes are available right now on the Heather's Hughes website, which I will have linked down below. And don't forget that the June Duo is available currently. I will link um, my June review um, up in the cards as well as down in the description box if you want to snag both of those releases at the same time. These polishes will only be available for the month of July and then they are gone for good. So let me know down in the comments what you all thought. Thank you so much for watching. Hope everyone has a fantastic weekend and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. See?